Let me ask you a question. How do you eat a lobster? If you just eat the claws, knuckles, and tail, that's not good enough. This is Daniel Gritzer from Serious Eats, and I'm on a mission to get everyone to eat a whole lobster the right way. So let's start with the parts that most people are comfortable with, the tail and claws. Pick up the whole lobster and firmly grab the body with one hand and the tail with the other. Then twist to separate. Next, pull off the claws, twisting them right where the knuckles meet the body. There are different ways to get the meat out of the tail. You can stick a fork into it and try to pry it out, but I like to split the shell. First, I squeeze inwards along its length until it cracks, then I pull it in the opposite direction to separate it. The meat should pretty much fall right out. Next, separate the knuckles from the claw. You can use all sorts of tools to crack the claw shells, but most restaurants will give you a nutcracker, so that's what I'm using here. Carefully but firmly squeeze the cracker just below the pincers. Your goal is to break the shell without crushing the meat within. Then remove the smaller pincer, which you can pop off by prying it open and back and forth to the sides. If you're lucky, the meat in that little pincer will slide right out. But that doesn't always happen, which is fine. You can shake it out or fish it out with a pick later. Sometimes when you remove the smaller pincer, a thin, hard piece of cartilage will come out with it. But if it doesn't, you'll need to check the claw meat later to make sure it's not hiding within. Now break open the claw shell where you cracked it and remove the meat. When you're done with the claws, turn your attention to the knuckles, using the cracker to shatter the shell around each segment. Then pry them open and pluck out the meat. This is where a lot of people quit, but not us. No, there's still a whole body just full of fun stuff to eat. So grab that body and pull the top shell off, lifting from the tail end. Inside, you're going to see a greenish, custardy substance. That's the tamale, and in my humble opinion, it's the tastiest part of the whole lobster. But it comes with a warning. I continue to eat the stuff, but you should decide for yourself. The lobster's legs are another part worth eating. Snap each one off, then use your teeth to chew the meat out, almost like you're pushing toothpaste out of the tube. Mmm, lobster flavored toothpaste. Finally, it's time to attack the bottom half of the body. On the outside of it, you'll find rows of frilly gills. Don't eat those, they taste pretty gross. What you want is inside. Split the body in half, and use your fingers to dig around into each little pocket and crevice, pulling out lumps of meat as you go. By the time you're done, there should just be shell left and not much else. It may not seem worth it to go after all those little bits of meat, but trust me, they add up. I mean, just look at that pile. Besides, picking should be fun. It's a mindless task to busy your hands while you gab with family and friends as the shells pile up around you. That's the joy of eating a lobster. If you love it as much as I do, you won't skip this part.